In today's video, I'm going to check out and review the biggest aviation roleplay that Bloxburg has to offer. This is a part of a new series I'm starting called Roleplay Reviews, for which you can find a playlist of all the roleplays on my channel's homepage. The goal of the series is to shed light on roleplay communities that have tons to offer and often go unnoticed, while also giving them proper and honest ratings. For every roleplay review that I do, I'm going to give it five different ratings. Activity, fun, realism, build, and then I'll combine those four to get a general rating. At the end of each video, or at this timestamp, I'll give you an inside look to what it's like to be in the roleplay session. Now on to today's review, Bloxburg Civil Aviation Organization. BCAO, or more formally known as the Blocksburg Civil Aviation Organization, was created by Orwell and Mac Wiz back in 2020. The roleplay grew to over 10,000 members and had over 400 flights before it shut down in September of 2022. They reopened again at the beginning of this year and since has been thriving. The roleplay's goal is to replicate in real life airport and airplane experiences. They use mood lighting, real life audios, and then different staff to do so. The roleplay is home to over 21 different active aircraft, 38 retired aircraft, 11 airports and 13 retired airports. All of their builds are extremely detailed and a lot of work and money goes into them. Oddly enough, many of the members or builders in their server don't really use or post on social media, so you probably haven't seen many of their airplane or airport builds. BCAO operates out of their Discord server, where again, they have thousands of members. It's super easy to get acclimated to the server and everyone in there is pretty nice. To participate in any of the roleplay sessions, all you have to do is wait for one of the flight announcements to be posted, which happens pretty often. In the flight announcement, they'll announce to you the aircraft, airline, arrival and destination airport, and then whatever classes the aircraft supports. After each flight, you also have the ability to tell staff how they did by leaving a flight review. Joining the roleplays isn't the only reason you may want to join the Discord server. If you're interested in aviation or building planes or airports, there's tons of people in there that are probably willing to help you so you can go ahead and join, and they have channels towards the bottom of the Discord server that will help you with that. Not only can you be a passenger, but you can also apply to be staff whenever applications are open. I do have friends that have worked for BCO in the past, and they do say it's a pretty fun job. There is one downside that I think is notable specifically for me and my viewers. According to my YouTube analytics, 52.6% of you all live in the United States, as well as I do. A lot of the members or builders of BCEO don't actually live in the United States, and some of them live on the opposite side of the world, so it kind of leaves a little strain on time zones. BCEO still offers some EST flights, but you're going to get much more variety if you go to the other time zone flight. Just expect that if you join the roleplay. Speaking of the Discord server, I'm going to leave a link to that in the eye in the corner, and in the description down below. So if you're interested in what you're hearing, you can participate in the roleplay by clicking those links. Now I'm left with five different ratings to create for BCAO. Activity, fun, realism, build, and then combine them all for a general rate. For activity, I'll rate BCAO an eight because while they are pretty active, I think they could do better catering to the American time zones, which makes up the majority of blocks per player. For fun, I would rate BCAO a seven. I think they could do a little bit better job at improving the in-flight experience because unlike in real life, we have in-flight entertainment to look at, but we don't really have that on Bloxburg, so it can get a little boring after you get onto the plane and settle in. For realism, I'd rate BCO an 8 because I think with more staff, they could improve in the areas of air traffic control and ground crew. I also think they could use the block features more to ban unruly and unrealistic passengers from the plane that disrupt the roleplay. For builds, I rate BCO a 10. All of BCO's members and builders are incredibly talented and detailed. I'm sure if BCO made a focus on promoting their builders and builds, they would get hundreds of likes on social media platforms like Twitter. Combining all of those ratings, that brings BCO's general or total rating to a pretty high 8.25. Now I'm done talking and I'm going to go inside the roleplay and give you all an inside look. They just announced that my Delta Airlines flight from Boston to Raleigh is taking off soon and I'm here at the airport to get on the plane. They have security to greet you at the door. He says, good day, warm welcome. And then they, on top of the airport, they have flags of, I guess, all the different countries that they fly to. So back here, it looks like a pretty normal airport. They have the different airlines that fly here. Since we're flying on Delta Airlines today, I'm going to hop in this line and then I'll wait. Surprisingly, everyone is pretty cordial. They follow the rules and stuff. Usually this doesn't happen in like YouTuber servers and whatnot, but people that participate in group role plays like this are usually rule followers. So you shouldn't really have a problem with that. So I'm at the front of the line and he just asked me, welcome to economy check-in. Do you have any bags with you today? He'll say, please place it on the belt and then you'll go ahead and put it here. He asked me if I should mark it as fragile. So I guess if you have a fragile package or something, Thing, they'll mark it as that so it doesn't get messed up or whatever and then he'll place the tag on your bag and then I think you should be good here right but go ahead and print your ticket and I think I have an economy ticket for this Delta flight but I'm not exactly sure he'll hand it to me in a moment he says here you go enjoy
enjoy the Delta experience. So I'll hand you your ticket and then you're good. Now that we've checked into our flight, we can actually go over to the security. Usually this is pretty heavy and there's a lot of people here, but I kind of came a little late. So there's not many people in security. So this should be a breeze. You'll just walk through the line and then they'll help you up here. You're gonna get to security and they'll tell you to place your bags on the belt, just like they do in real life. And then you'll go ahead and place it here on the belt. Please go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already as I'm trying to grow the channel. Now I think this airport is used for international flights as well because they do have an immigration checkpoint. But since we're just going from Boston to Raleigh, which are both in the United States, we're not gonna need immigration. So I think you'll just walk through this part unless it's an international flight. After you get through security, you're pretty much good to just walk throughout the airport and check out all the different stores they have. Some of them are different and some of them are same. Uh, usually the airport layouts are pretty similarly though because you have to be within the confines of a Bloxburg plot. Um, but they all have working restaurants with employees in them. I'm going to go ahead down to Taco Bell and I'm going to get myself a taco here. So where does the line start right here? All right, let's talk to Cubs and get ourselves a taco. He said, welcome to Taco Bell. What can I get you? I'm going to get one taco. One taco, please. Usually up the main set of escalators, you'll find the VIP lounge, which is where you can find food and you can just lounge there until the actual plane takes off. So that's going to be right over here. This is the Delta Sky Club and from up here you can see the plane and you can also see the airport interior. I'll just walk in and give you a little tour. They got some seats over here. There's tons of food and snacks on the side here. And then they also have employees that walk through here. I think everyone's going to be down here for now though. I'm not exactly sure how they do boarding or if it's in a certain order. I'm pretty sure the plane that we're going on has all the same seats, so that shouldn't be a problem. But I'm just going to stay seated here until this line calms down a bit. They've just now started boarding, but I'm all the way towards the back of the line, so it's going to take me a minute. In the meantime, from the line, you can see everyone on the ground crew working to make sure that the plane is ready to go. I'm at the front now, and Holly says, hello, ticket, please. I'll hand her the ticket, and then she's going to go ahead and scan it and check it and make sure I can get on the plane. She scans the ticket, and then I proceed. Anna here also verifies that you have a correct ticket. She says, hello, ticket please. And then she'll just check it and then let us go through. The gangway is super realistic. And from here, you can see the inside of the airport and everyone that's still standing in line. When boarding the plane, they'll just say welcome and then you can take a right and go find a seat. I don't think we have assigned seats on these flights, but I'm pretty sure you have like a class. So first class would sit up here and then economy would sit back here. I'm gonna go ahead and take economy because I don't think I got any special type of treatment or like class to sit in. But I believe in their Discord server, you can actually pre-book a class to sit in. One of the coolest things about BCAO flights is that they have mood lighting, so it actually resembles like how it would be in real life. They have the blue and yellow dim lights that make it seem like you're actually on the airplane. Up in the cockpit and viewable in the chat is the pilot and co-pilot, and they're pretty much role-playing actually flying the plane, so you can view that from your seat. Before the flight starts, they'll have the flight attendants go through the cabin and do their pre-flight check or whatever it's called. Pretty much they just tell you what to do if you're going to die. And it's actually pretty realistic. They do like everything that they would say in real life. The captain just announced that we're ready for takeoff and they just dim the lights even more so we're about to go into the air. The pilot also just requested takeoff in the chat and now they're taking off. At any time during the flight you can go to the bathroom which is often found at the front or back of the cabin. I'm gonna go in this one here, so you just click open door. These should be open for everyone with like guest permissions and whatnot. Why is Ariana Grande in here? Close the door. I don't know how I feel about a window being in the bathroom, but I guess we're 30,000 feet in the air, so it doesn't really matter. Since I'm back here, I might as well take a little look at the flight attendant area. It's pretty much just a ton of details that they would have in real life. I'm sure it was copied off like Google and stuff, so it's accurate. About halfway through the flight, the flight attendants will come through and give you food or food service. I guess they'll also do drinks as well. This guy is gonna give me some pizza. 
Currently, we're taxiing to the gate and then we'll be able to get out and get to the airport. The server owner also used the neighborhood feature to change the time in the neighborhood so it's like we landed at night. Now that we're here, everyone pretty much got up from their seat, so I'm gonna go up to the front and we're all gonna get off the plane. All the flight crews say thank you for flying with Delta Airlines and then you cop off the plane. After arriving in the airport, they'll tell you to go downstairs to the arrivals and then you'll just head down the escalator. On the way to the arrival gate, they also have some gates that are downstairs, which I thought were pretty cool as well. The first thing you'll see is the immigration checkpoint, but obviously we're still in America, so I don't think we'll have to go through that, but we will have to get our bags. They have tons of luggage sitting out on the arrival tray, so you can pretty much just roleplay getting your bag and then you can leave. At the end of every flight, all the employees and captains and co-pilots and flight attendants and whatnot will take a picture on top of the plane. Be sure to check out BCEO in the link in the description down below. To take a look at the rest of my roleplay review series, you can check out my playlist on my channel. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody.